following is a presentation of Radio Plus Sports. Great throw line, nice back cut, and a find to Cale Peterson. And Gracie Gopalan puts it up, puts it in, gets knocked to the floor into the free throw line. A little crossover dribble, goes up with the right hand, gets it to go. A bond on a roll right now. Will go up with the left hand, puts it in. Another steal and a basket for the Randolph Rockets. Vanderwerk getting the ball to Spice, and she pounds one down and puts it off the arms of Delaney Rudinger and out of bounds. Walda's going to get it near the middle, and DeVries pushes it off to the right. Off to the races the other way. Throws it up to Emma, throws it down and in. Unbelievable alley-oop to Ben Emma. Throws it down for the two. What a feed into Ben Emma from Will Sines. Dual feeds Johannes again. That one off the window and in. Johannes to the line. Thanks to our sponsors in today's game. Laconia has the basketball with a chance. Madigan gets it in for Engel. Back to Madigan. Spots up. Got it. They score. And people, there are your state champions, the Randolph Lady Rockets. Congratulate them on an unbelievable storybook season. Your Wapan Lady Warriors are champions of Division Three girls basketball. The complete broadcast schedule can be found at radioplusinfo.com. Good evening Good and evening welcome and to Wapan, welcome to Wapan area, Wapan. area Wapan. junior senior high school. Steve Winterhack along with Randy Armgut. Randy, we're on camera right now. So. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hey, oh, hey, we're, that, we're, we're getting big, video. We have so much stuff we got to set up, so <laughs> right up to the time uh, the games start. But hey, thanks for joining us tonight at Wapan High School. Uh, every step in the tournament and closer back to the state tournament is always a, a huge game. And they're going to be taking on the Wapan Lady Warriors, are taking on the Amro Foxes, who had a really nice, convincing win. Uh, they were only the number six seed, and they knocked off the number three seed, Lake Country Lutheran, by 27 points last night. So that's in the house. Uh, who's in the house here tonight? And might sound kind of familiar, a regional championship, because Wapan played them last right. year in this exact game, the regional championship on the way for Wapan to go on and win a state tournament. So uh, not a team to be taken lightly. A lot of the girls back from last year's team that Wapan beat by uh, quite a few points in that regional championship last year. And they're not going to be quite as intimidated, according to their coach, Coach Geisthardt, said they're not going to be as intimidated as they were when they came into this gym last year. So who knows what we're going to see here tonight with the Amro Foxes in town. Yeah, a lot of people thought maybe an upset, Amro beating, you know, lower seed, obviously, beating beating Lake Country Lutheran. But I'll tell you what, you talk to the Amro people that were in here earlier, they they expected to win that game. They were, you know, they, they believe in this team, and they think they got a good shot tonight against Wapan. Yeah, they got uh, some more confidence coming in, and after knocking off the number three seed, that's just a, it's a little bit ahead of Wapan in the seeding. Uh, they think that uh, they got a good chance here tonight. We'll talk about their games that they played both last night and uh, the path to this tournament for Amro playing an extra game in there. But uh, we'll talk about that as we proceed further into our Home and Auto Sales pregame show coming your way uh, in about three minutes. We'll be back and talk about the games that they played to get here. HomeandAuto.com. Check out our selection of over 400 new and used vehicles. HomeandAuto.com. Every vehicle from all four of our locations in one convenient place. Find your perfect car without leaving home at HomeandAuto.com. New vehicles from Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, Buick, and Ford. Pre-owned from $39.82 and certified pre-owned. Plus the warranties and hometown service you can depend on. Make the home and family your first stop at HomeandAuto.com. We make you feel at home at Homeand. Saputo Cheese, just outside of Wapan, is hiring. A new year, a new career. Due to their continued growth, Saputo has full-time benefit-eligible career opportunities available in their Alto facility. Saputo offers entry-level pay starting at $21.94 per hour or operators starting at $25.09 per hour. Great benefits, shift pay, and more. A new year, a new career with Saputo Cheese in Alto. Apply online at saputo.com backslash careers. Saputo is an equal opportunity employer. Every piece of land has a story. Start building yours with a John Deere 2023R compact tractor. With standard four-wheel drive, folding rollover, protective structures, and cruise control, it's your workhorse or adventure partner with over 100 implements, attachments, and accessories. Low rate financing to qualified customers now through May 1st, 2023. See Ballwig Implement, your full-line John Deere in Wapan and Beaver Dam, and online at ballwig.biz. That's ballwig.biz. 
Are you missing out on life? Does chronic joint pain prevent you from doing the things you love? I get it. All you think about is pain. This is Dr. Randy Blahoviak with New Medical Center. We have the solution to your problem. If you suffer from debilitating and chronic joint pain, learn how innovative medicine with human cellular tissue products can get you back to living your best life. Call New Medical Center for an alternative approach with innovative medicine at 920-249-8757. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa Rewards accounts include refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. When you meet the monthly qualification criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casasa Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake. The last tractor you'll ever need is here. Get into a Massey Ferguson compact or utility tractor and accomplish more than ever before. These versatile tractors are known for their unbeatable power, smart fuel economy, and upgraded creature comforts. And with their ability to multitask through any job around the yard or farm, they'll provide you with outstanding value for years to come. Visit Wapan Equipment Company in Wapan, Watertown, and Eden to find the right model for your operation. Welcome back to Wapan High School. Steve Witterhack and Randy Armga again back to bring you a regional championship game in Division Three. The Wapan Lady Warriors taking on the Amro Foxes. And I'm expecting this place to fill up pretty good. It was a pretty good crowd here last night for the uh, victory against WL, or against uh, Winnebago, or w- Winnebago County last night. But it was, uh, I think we're going to try to beat that a little bit here tonight. Yeah, it's a pretty nice crowd right now. And I, I saw... Uh our athletic director before the game, he said he's opening up two lines tonight because they did get backed up at the door. It was that busy. So going to open up two ticket lines and try and uh, get people in quicker. And one thing that bodes well for the Lady Warriors, I saw that we have the United Men of Praise oh, that are here a- to do the national anthem. And every time uh, they you kind of happened back in your days as an that's assistant right. coach and Lucky Wirtz as the, the head coach, you started bringing them in. And for some reason, we won all those games that they were there really inspired everybody to play good b- basketball in that given night. But uh, again, uh, Wapan with a uh, very convincing victory against Winnicott last night, the team that beat them by 12 about three weeks ago. And they definitely had revenge on their mind, and they got it last night, knocking them off 72-39. to 39. Pretty impressive victory there for the girls. They looked like they were ready to play a postseason ball right now. Right, and Gracie Gopalan said it to you after the game. This is the one that counts. This is the one that matters. And yeah. Very happy for that. You know, that's what they were after. Yeah, big night for Kale Peterson, as usual. Uh, she fills up the stat books every night. Uh, just a double-double machine. She didn't have one last night. One rebound short of it, but 27 points, nine rebounds, six assists, four blocks in the game for the Lady Warriors. Uh, Gracie had a, you know, an unbelievable game, uh, all the things that she did out there. Five assists, six rebounds for a girl that's you know, just five, just one, five, yeah, <laughs> five, five four. more maybe with your shoes on. And <laughs> yeah, five, there. four. But she's just so active, and she just seemed to have the ball was like a magnet to her, and she would get those rebounds out there. <laughs> she had 14 points in the ball game, and uh, man, she just uh, was a great facilitator for her teammates last night. Impressive game for Gracie. She is fun to watch, and she's exciting, and uh, she makes her her team so much better by everything she does on the floor. And uh, yeah, I would love to play, you know, played with someone with that ability because uh, it, it's just so fun to. You it makes know, everybody look. It good. makes everybody look good, and it, and you know the little things she does that do not show up in our scorebooks are just absolutely special. Uh, of course, Lydia Alsom also had her moments. Uh, the big three all came through for them last night. Lydia with 13 points and five rebounds in the ball game, and she had some big moments when uh, you had Kale Peterson sitting out, and she dumped in a few threes for yes. us too, and 13 points. But you know, probably the biggest thing has happened is a combination of about 14 points for Trinity Pierce and Roland Harder, and if you get that much production out of them, that's a really good night for those guys uh, besides just rebounding the basketball and setting picks out there. Uh, getting those opportunities because they're going to get a lot of them when they concentrate on the top three players, and they're going to get some open looks, and they finished on their shots yesterday, and that looked really good for going into the postseason that that's happening. It did. Kale Peterson, as you mentioned, foul trouble in the first half. Coach took her to the bench to try and make sure she didn't get that third, and, and I thought Trinity Pierce came in. They really didn't. You know, it, it's impossible to replace a Kale Peterson, but Trinity really performed well. Scored some baskets, got a lot of rebounds, blocked a couple shots herself. So, uh, you know, she she's has that length, and she's able to control the game as well. But, yeah, you mentioned Cale Peterson. 
you know, the four blocks. That that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's it is. that's like changing the game by ten points. It's it's a shot that doesn't even have a chance to get to the rim, and then oftentimes she controls that block, gets her team going in transition the other the way. One block she had, she went up and it just yeah, one grab it and boom and grabbed it. It was right in her hands and boom, she had it. We had so many of the balls back after she blocks them. She does it with that's control. Right. And uh, Wapond ends up with a basketball. Just a special, special athlete. They were lucky enough to be able to call her games. Yeah, we have. A, we're we're fortunate. We get another year. Yes. Of her and Gracie. No and, seniors on and, the team. And so. Lydia and all the rest of them. So. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll come back in uh, just uh, two minutes with more of our pregame show and talk a little bit about the Amro Foxes and how they got here. That's coming your way in just a few minutes. This is Wapond Lady Warrior Basketball on RP Sports. Municipal Well and Pump is a leading Midwestern contractor for municipal and industrial water systems. They are currently looking for ambitious and mechanically minded people to fill their opening for an apprentice well driller. Municipal Well and Pump offers great pay and benefits. To apply, go to municipalwellandpump.com and click on Careers. Or call Scott at 920-324-3400. Municipal Well and Pump of Wapan is a proud supporter of local high school sports. Nathan Potratz Custom Carpentry is a proud sponsor of today's game. Celebrating 10 years in business, Nathan specializes in kitchen and bathroom remodels, whole house remodels, new construction, additions, and more. Nathan Potratz Custom Carpentry also has an in-house designer on staff with virtual reality designs to help visualize your space before construction starts. Quality, efficiency, and integrity. Nathan Potratz Custom Carpentry. See Nathan's work at PotratzCarpentry.com and like them on Facebook. Facebook. Andy with us here at the other bar, Main Street in downtown Wapan. Andy, stop on by for some delicious meals, some beverages. Let's talk about that before we get, get into the meat raffle on uh, Sunday. That's right, Nick. We got a lot on tap this week, so strap in, buckle up, do what you got to do, because here we go. Monday specials, all you can eat shrimp and fries and pizza specials Monday night. Tuesdays is Mexican all day. Wings after 4 o'clock on Wednesdays. Thursdays, build your own burger. Friday is fish all day. Saturday is appetizers, buy one, get one half off. And Sunday is wings all day as well with Bloody Mary and screwdriver specials. There's a lot going on. We're going to have everything going on TVs. I'm sure we're right around the corner from March Madness. The Badgers, of course, are always on. And my favorite time of year, the Brewers are back in spring training. So thank God for that. So there's always something going on here. So the meat raffle, we'll talk about that coming up this weekend. This Sunday, the 26th, we are bringing the meat raffle back. We start off at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Every event that we do it, proceeds are going to go to a local charity. This time, we're kicking it off for the American Legion baseball program. So that should be a good time. Andy with us here. The other bar, Main Street. Well, Pond, thanks, man. Have a good week. Thanks. At Jimmy John's, we don't make sandwiches. We make the sandwich of sandwiches. We use fresh veggies because we don't hate salads. We just feel bad for them. We make our sandwiches exactly how you want because you're the one who's eating it. And we bake bread all day, every day, because stale bread isn't bread. It's croutons. Sandwich history is written by the victors. Good thing we have legible handwriting. Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. Order pickup or delivery on the app. Shop these and more great deals at the Figgly Wiggly Wapon this week. Four pound bag of crystal sugar, a dollar ninety nine with your card. A pound of premium strawberries, a dollar ninety nine. Limit of two. The family pack of all natural chicken wings, a dollar ninety nine per pound. Get cod fillets, haddock fillets, and cooked shrimp. Great Lent specials now at Wapon's Piggly Wiggly. Shop the pig all this week for incredible deals. It's Wapon's Piggly Wiggly. Welcome back to Wapan High School. Uh, Steve Winterhack again along with Randy Arm gets the Home and Auto Sales pregame show. And let's talk a little bit about the Amaral Foxes. They're 16-9 and nine on the season. They are third place finishers in the Flyway Conference. Laconia, of course, one of the top ranked teams in uh, Division IV, uh, won the conference. Shared it, though, with WLA, who they split during the season, right. obviously. And both those teams playing tonight, WLA against Randolph. And Laconia has got a game here tonight. Too, but Amro finished in third place at 10-4 and four in the conference, but they won convincingly, uh, knocking off Lake Country Lutheran and talking to Coach uh, Tyler Geisthardt. He said his team came in confidently. like they, they knew that they could play with these guys, and then uh, playing at Lake Country Lutheran, uh, that team could not hit. They liked to shoot from downtown. They couldn't hit their threes, oh. and uh, the, the Amro took care of things inside in that ball game, and he said, made it much easier for them. Yeah, sometimes when they're not making threes it's because the defense makes the team uncomfortable. You know, you, you can't let them get comfortable at the line. And, and if you're guarding, you're getting out there, you're pressuring and doing good things, oftentimes that creates the misses. 
Yeah, just looking at uh, yeah that ball game. No stats on that one at all because sometimes coaches don't put those in real fast. But you know, the Wapan stats were in from that Winnie County game in a hurry. When you when you win a game, they usually put them in there right away for if, unless they don't want the opposing team to see it. But uh, three of those girls that were their high scores last year, and Wapan knocked off Amro in the regional championship last year, 70 to 43, are still on the team yet with Ava Statura. She had 10 points. Uh, Maddie Brooks with 10 points, and uh, Julia Cook also with nine points. And they're all here, and they're all starting here tonight for the Amro Foxes. So they've got everybody back. Uh, Wapon's uh, big scorer in that game last year was Abby Alsman with 32 points. Yeah, and Abby's gone. We know She's that, gone. the graduation. But a lot, of good, uh, a lot of good players back as well. So Yeah, we'll see what happens here tonight. Wapon taking on the Amro Foxes in a regional championship game. We're going to take another break, come back with the starting lineups, and the beginning of tonight's game, Wapan, regional championship game against the Amro Foxes coming your way in just a few minutes on Radio Plus. This game is powered by Seabroxma Electric of Wapan. Seabroxma Electric has serviced the electrical needs for Wapan and the surrounding area for over 18 years. From small residential jobs to agricultural, industrial, and commercial jobs, they do it all. For quality work and prompt, courteous service, contact your state of Wisconsin licensed electrical contractor in our area. Seabroxma Electric at 920-319-1614 or check them out online at cbelectric.net. If you're looking for someone to take care of your tree needs, call Eli at Torres Tree Service of Wapan. He's been in the business for 10 years and started up Torres Tree Service three years ago. Eli and his team can remove trees big or small, even those hard to get to trees. They do tree trimming and stump grinding, and the job's not done until they put topsoil and seed where the tree was removed, clean up the debris, and haul it away. Join the many satisfied customers by calling Torres Tree Service in Wapan at 920-344-5887. A reminder for everyone that Ben's Automotive is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and on Saturdays by appointment only. Keeping your vehicle in tip-top running condition is essential. Call 324-9962 for Bent's Automotive. Get the quality repair and maintenance services you need from the automotive technicians you can trust. Bent's Automotive at the corner of Carrington and Main Streets in beautiful downtown Wapan. Call 920-324-9962 to schedule your service or repair needs today. Welcome to Terramax Territory. Create the ideal seed bed with a high quality finish, level soils and remove ruts, and eliminate resistant weeds, all with one innovative tool from Great Plains. The Terramax is a versatile hybrid tillage solution offering variable intensity tillage for a variety of field conditions. Learn more about hybrid tillage and the new Terramax at www.greatplainsag.com or by visiting the Wapan Equipment Company, your local Great Plains dealer. This is Terramax Territory, Wapan Equipment Company. When's the last time you reviewed your Medicare or your health insurance benefits. Do you have a plan? A lot of people choose plans that don't fit their health care needs or budget. Don't make that mistake. We here at SIA Insurance work with many different companies and carriers to get you the best coverage at the best value. For more information, contact SIA Insurance at 999 West Main Street in Wapan. Call SIA Insurance at 324-2071 for free help. We are uh, back at Wapan Area Junior Senior High School. Steve Winterhack along with Randy Arm. Good to bring you the ball game here tonight. And let's go through the starting lineups. First of all, for your Wapan Lady Warriors getting ready to take on the Amro Foxes. And luckily, we don't play over there at the Foxes Den. That's, yeah, that's uh, right. It's a, not a nice place to play <laughs> over there. A very intimidating place to play. But Wapan will start Lydia Alsma. Almost 15 points a game for her. Can shoot from behind the arc. A 5'10 sophomore. Maddie Vandestreek played some great defense last night. 5'7 junior. Four points a game for her, but she does so many other things out on the court. Also, Rowan Harder. Good, good uh, banger out there for Wapan. And she's going to get her looks inside and uh, converted them last night. So a great game for her last night. 5'10 sophomore. Gracie Gopalan, the quarterback of the football, uh, the basketball team here tonight. Gracie uh, just does a, a, an unbelievable job, and we're lucky to be able to see her for the third season. A 5-4 junior, 9.5 points a game, 5 assists a game, and Kale Peterson averaging 21 points a game, averaging 11 rebounds a game, and she can also light it up from behind the arc in that moment. A little stretch in there when she drilled three threes, and Wapon just pulled away for good in that ball game. Very impressive by a top-notch athlete. 
you, know, you look at her stat line last night, seven baskets, three made three-pointers, four or five from the line for a total of 27. Uh, for the Amaro Foxes in this ball game tonight, they will be starting See number two, uh, Ava Statura, uh, Statura. She's a 5'8 senior, averaging 14 points a game, 7.5 rebounds a game. Also, Lindy Beck. She's a 5'3 senior, averaging 5 points a game. Grayson Barbian, also averaging 6 points a game, a 5'9 a senior. Julia Cook in the starting lineup, a 5'6 junior, averaging 15 points a game. And Maddie Brooks she is a 5'4 junior, averaging 8.5 points a game. Upon wins the tip, they get over to Maddie Vandestreek on the right side and puts it in easy. Start to the ball game for Wapan, getting a fast two points in about six seconds to take the lead early in the ball game. Now here, seeing Wapan open up in that one-two-two, it's almost a half-court trapping start. Yeah, a tough shot, but a uh, converted shot on the shot inside by Julia Cook, and that's where the coach, uh, I thought, it's kind of an unusual thing coming into a Wapan game, as good as they do inside. Coach Geistart said. Oh, and here goes Gracie Gopal into the rim, and nobody cuts her off. But he says his team likes to take care of business inside and take the ball inside to score. And, man, you got uh, quite a player inside and some good length in there, especially with Kale Peterson, one of the best players in the state. And the ball's taken away by Maddie Vandestreek that'll change those shots inside. Yeah, there's that good uh, trapping out of that zone at half court. Maddie just scrambling. She played so well. She did not score a point, but played so well defensively. Yeah, she had to cover Joey Perry, and now here goes Gracie again to the rack, and she's going to get fouled. She goes, are they going to give me that lane? I'm going to take it. Either let me shoot it, or I'm going to score a basket. And uh, she gets uh, fouled on the floor on her way to the basket, so Wapan will inbound on their baseline, leading now 4-2. to two. Gracie looking for somebody to come out and get the ball. Lydia also lines up a three. That's a little too strong, and getting the rebound is Julia Cook pushing it up now for the Foxes. Now yeah, she's going to launch up a long three. That rims out no good. And getting the rebound was uh, Ava Statura. Pass inside and putting it in. And hey, we talked about how they do inside. And then they go in and score a basket inside. Nice look by Maddie Brooks finishing. We're tied at four apiece. Upon it, gone to man to man that last trip down. We're seeing man out of the Amro Foxes right now as well. Betty Altsma with it, top of the key, dribbles in and uh, gets it to the outside. Uh, Good save. Oh, nice save, and uh, uh, Wapan eventually uh, will give the ball up. So again, we are tied at four apiece here in the early going of the ball game. Not even two minutes into it yet, 4-4. Four, four. Hello to uh, Paul and Pat Tutant out there, and they are uh, watching the game in Dauphin Island, Alabama. Oh, yeah, we had some from Florida, from Arizona. Yes, ooh, a travel is going to be called on uh, Julia Cook. So even uh, the Amro uh, people were welcome to uh, you bet. join us on the chat line. We had quite a few people from Winnicott, and a uh, good play happens out there. We're going to definitely make note of it. We are some old pond announcers here, but good play is a good play, and they'll be recognized. So uh, make sure to check in with us as we uh, ask all our Wapan people to do that too. Quite a few people checking in yesterday. The lob pass into Peterson, back out to Gracie Gopalin, back into Kale again, and uh, backs up a five footer, comes up short. Good defense there by the Foxes. Coming up with it is Ava Statura. Everyone knows where Kale Peterson in. That ball goes into the post. She's seeing double, triple team action. Cook has it. She's going into the left side, kicks it back out. Kale thought about maybe yeah. picking that one off. Barbie and with it, working along the right side, gets cut off by Rowan Harder and gives up her dribble. And goes a strong drive in the left side with the left hand and a foul on the nice drive by Ava Statura. Foul on the Lady Warriors. Well, they're not afraid to go in right now. We had mentioned that before that a lot of teams have tried and had no luck with it, but. They're definitely giving it a go here in the early part. Draw a foul and take the lead in the ball game. Free throw good for uh, Avis Tatura. Yeah, you got the likes of Trinity Pierce and Cale Peterson in there blocking shots the way they do. A lot of teams don't even want to challenge. Ava makes both of her uh, free throws. 6 4 the lead now for Amro. The drive for Gracie kicks it out over to uh, 
Alsma and Lydia will bury one from three-point land. Lydia with her second three attempt and her first make. Lapon takes the lead back at seven to six. What a pretty shot right there. That's just good basketball. Peterson picks it off and they try to get it down to the corner. Kale brings it up now for the Lady Warriors. I'm gonna pull one, nope. Kale gets it out to the corner over to Maddie Vandestreek and uh, she's gonna get called for stepping on the line. Uh, nothing about the bang. Out of bounds, but a good job defensively, I guess, by Julia Cook. And ball going back to the Foxes, trailing by one. Yeah, a lot of time officials, if there's not enough room between the end line and the defender, they're not going to give you that call because you're trying to squeeze in a space that's not uh, big enough for a human being. So they just they credit the defense. There's a trap. And double teamed and uh, getting it uh, past Turian of uh, oh. Coming back up with the dough as Julia Cook pulls up. 13-footer in the lane. That's no good. <laughs> Letting them play, that's for sure, yeah. out there right now. That's okay. I like that. Let the girls decide it. Nice pass. Nice pass into Harder, and Rowan finishes on another opportunity, just like last night. Good sign there for the Warriors, leading now 9-6. to six. Double team now out near half court, and taken away by Lydia Alsma. Lapon's got numbers. They get it over to uh, Vandestreek, and she puts it in. Maddie Vandestreek with her second basket of the game and a timeout taken back in 30 seconds with more Lady Warrior basketball on RP Sports. HomeandAuto.com. Check out our selection of over 400 new and used vehicles. HomeandAuto.com. Every vehicle from all four of our locations in one convenient place. Find your perfect car without leaving home at HomeandAuto.com. New vehicles from Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, Buick, and Ford. Pre-owned from $39.82 and certified pre-owned. Plus the warranties and hometown service you can depend on. Make the home and family your first stop at HomeandAuto.com. We make you feel at home at Homeand. Now timeout taken by Amro, and I said it'll run there by Wapan. Defense turning into offense, leading now 11 to six, with just under 14 to play in the first half. Yeah, that's a really good timeout by Tyler Geisert to stop that momentum. You don't want to get ran out of the gym, and that could happen. And Rowan Harder uh, gets, does steal the ball and gets it over. Wapan taking it the other way, and that defense smothering the Foxes last trips down. Lydia Alsma gets it back out on top over to Kale Peterson. Guarded by Satura. Here you see Gopalan has it top of the key. Gets cut off on her way in towards the basket. And Lydia dribbles off to her right. Gets it down to Vandestreek in the corner. And Gracie has it in. It's going to go uh, off uh, the Fox's hands and out of bounds. It'll be Wapan basketball. Also Jerry and Chris Krieger watching us now. We in the uh, warm areas of the country. I think they're they're the Arizona. I believe so. Yes. Yeah. This so. year, nice. And Peterson move. little spin move in the lane and finishes for Kale Peterson. Pretty move from a six-one player. Yeah, that is special stuff right there and almost unstoppable. Pass underneath uh, toward the basket in the hands of Brooks and it goes to Tura. Gets that blocked by Peterson out of bounds. Tura looking for a foul on that one. That's what uh, Kale does. Get a few blocks like that and kind of like changes your approach to going inside. And Bond pass over to uh, Cook. Gets it back over to Statura out on top. Three-pointer on the way now from uh, Ari King, and that is no good. Peterson reaches right over the top of the much shorter uh, Maddie Brooks, giving up about nine inches to Kale Peterson, and she'll grab the rebound. 13-6 now, favorable pawn on your new medical integrated healthcare scoreboard. Gracie's got it, gets it back over to Alsma, back in the hands of Gopalan. A little two-man game right now, ball screening, slipping. And there's going to be a foul on the way to the basket. Gracie is going to be going to the free throw line right now. So talk about our bar, they've got entertainment going on right now over at uh, their place right on Main Street. Well, Pond, the verdict started at 7 o'clock. They're playing till 11 o'clock tonight, so maybe that's an after-the-game type of thing to go. Gracie makes her first free throw. Gold Pollen getting very aggressive tonight, just attacking the rim. And, you know, about the time they start coming over to help to cut her off, she's going to be making those amazing passes. Both free throws good for Gracie. Hopefully, 
get that uh, free throw average up a little bit but here in the uh, postseason would help a lot for a girl who's going to get fouled quite often. So Amro with the ball, but they trail by nine now in the early going. Pretty close to the 12-minute mark, three-pointer on the way, and that one goes in. A nice shot there by Ari King. Gets her first points of the ball game. Gracie kicks it out over to uh, Lydia Alsma, pulls up about a 16-footer, uh, gets blocked, Rowan Harder gets it. Has a little up and under and no good. Peterson rips down the rebound. Yeah, it looks like maybe foul. a reach-in foul on that. She has just surrounded by foxes all around her and foul on uh, Ariana King. Inbounds pass into uh, Alsmud. Gets it back over to Peterson. She'll launch up a three, and that is off the back of the rim. No good, then up in the supports, and out of bounds. 15-9, Wapan, 11.43 left in the first half. Tell you what, the Admiral Foxes are playing pretty well, but Wapan already with that nice six-point lead. More double-team action out on top. They get the ball over to uh, Ari King. And now back near half court to Julia Cook. Takes it in. Nice pass inside. And then a block. And they're going to call a jump ball as Gracie Goldpollen comes in and blocks the shot. Mopan gets the benefit of the doubt on that one. On Gracie's uh, great job coming from behind and blocking it. Tying it up. Call that a tie-up. And ball in hand of the Foxes now. Pass out top over to Julia Cook. Drive from Satura. And then uh, Gracie knocks it off her hands, and uh, that's going to go out of bounds. Wow. Yeah, I don't think Gracie <laughs> touched it, actually. He cut in front, but uh, both officials looked at each other and nodded in agreement that they had that one correct. I didn't hear any complaints out of the student section over there from the Foxes. No, nope, nobody's complaining. So, upon with the basketball, leading by six, 15 to nine. Peterson has it out near top of the key, dribbles off to her left, Statura, staying glued to her. Is Gracie trying to get it back over to uh, Harder, but coming up with it is uh, Lydia Alsma. Yeah, pretty good defense by the Foxes. They're a little stingy uh, for the penetration for the Lady Warriors, doing a good job moving their feet. Not good athletes. Tura makes sure she's right on. Uh, Kale Peterson kind of backing her down a little bit, but Tura holds her ground. Taking their time, trying to solve this puzzle of how to uh, penetrate this Fox's defense. Peterson's going to get it back out on top and uh, take it. Oh, and uh, overshoots the pass inside to Vandestreek and a great defensive stop there for the Foxes. Just missed Jeff's cameras down there, those baseline <laughs> cameras. Got to keep the equipment in shape. Today's state coverage of, or I should say, our uh, regional coverage of Wapan Girls Basketball is presented by Wine and Unwind on Main Street in downtown Wapan. Be sure to go down there for all the specials they have over at Wine and Unwind. Again, uh, another uh, one of the Foxes kind of corralled down in the corner, and then more double teaming by Wapan. And the ball knocked out by Peterson in the hands of Rowan Harder. Wapan gets it back again, smothering defense by the Lady Warriors. Peterson launches up a long three, and nothing but net for Kale Peterson. Now with five points in the game, Wapan up by nine, 18 to nine. We saw a few of those last night. That's going to be like a 23-footer. And Rowan Harder jumps in front of the intended receiver of the pass. Another steal for the Lady Warriors. Yeah, this 1-2-2 zone, trapping active zone, is really giving uh, Foxes trouble. We haven't seen that really uh, from them during the, the season, putting uh, in any length of time, and it's going to be a foul... Yeah. It's going to be taken out on the side. It's going to go against Grayson Barbian. Yes, that's her second. That's her second personal. That time uh, last yeah. night, Rowan got called for some of those moving Team screens, Team trying to free him, free up her teammates tonight. Yeah, he, they just tried to run. Barbian just tried to run straight through her. <laughs> and, uh, Rowan seemed bat. a little confused though. She yeah, got well, when I talked to her last night. I mean, uh, of whether those are fouls or not. She didn't feel she was moving that much, and uh, yeah, that's that's a close thing. Nice play here, right there. Nice setup. Screen the screener action. Yeah, they're doing a good job getting past the screens that Wapan's setting up right now. Peterson with it back out on top. Almost halfway through the first half of action, a regional championship here at Wapan High School. Great crowd here tonight. 
And Gracie's going to dump it off over to Vanister. You've got to be ready. Oh, and that's uh, maybe bounced on the sideline. Yeah, yeah. yeah, on the sideline, you're right. End line. Yeah, well, you when Gracie's around, you better have your hands yeah, ready for, right. a, for a pass. Lydia Alsma lines up a three and puts it in. Now Lydia Alsma with her second three of the game. Wapon pulls ahead now, 21 to nine. Ball loose, going after it is Alsma, and it's out of bounds. Might be out for her foot. Nothing easy for the Foxes, let me tell you that. Once you get to half court, look out because you have the ball in your hand. You're going to see a trap. You're going to see an intense trap, and then you're going to see people jumping in those passing lanes. In the lane with it into Cook, goes up and puts it in over the top of Trinity Pierce is in the game now. Second basket of the ball game for Cook now with four points. This is a nice finish. Yeah. That's a much taller player than Pierce. Yeah, had her hand right in her face, and she finished. She goes, nice. Lydia, nice look inside to Trinity, and Trinity puts it up and in. Nice setup there, drawing some defenders and finding Pierce all alone on the left side. 23-11 in favor of the Warriors. Ooh, she got its way with the travel right there. Good job by Vandestreet to get a hand on the ball. The Fox is trying to find some place. There isn't a Wapon Lady Warrior. Seems like there's about eight of them out there. Every time they turn around, there's another one there. Yeah, that's just good scramble defense. Strong move, but uh, over uh, Laney a little bit. Uh, Pierce brings it down, and then we've had a tied-up ball, and it'll be Wapon basketball leading by 12. Ryan Babbage checking in the ball game now for the Lady Warriors. Only about eight girls really get on the court for Wapon. Ryan, the last one to come off the bench. Yeah, a lot of young kids on this team, and, and Babish is a freshman, but there's some freshmen down the bench that uh, see limited time. Just great to be part of this program. And a reach in foul by Statura, easy call there for the referee. Freshmen be part of this program and, uh, you know, learn and, and understand what it takes to win championships. And I think with Ryan, she was a uh, starting left side hitter on the volleyball team, so she had a whole season of volleyball as a freshman right. being a starter. So she's a little used to that role, being out there in the limelight with the bigger crowds. I don't think we ever had this many people in the volleyball probably game not, this year, not, not with, not with the, the, the years they've been having lately. Yeah, but yeah. A great crowd here. But it looks about the same as last night with that Winnie County game. Peterson launches oh. up a three, way too strong. Satura gets the rebound, and then gets followed by Babish. And the Foxes will get it back, trailing by 12, 23 to 11. Now I want to thank Jeff Sauer for joining us uh, again. He's been out doing the hockey stuff. That's his, uh, his, his passion with, uh, with that, and it's amazing you can do that and run a camera at the same time. But glad to have you back, Jeff. I am glad to be back. I love our, our, we have a nice crew here and a good thing yeah. going. Yeah. We have a uh, blocking foul of 24. That's going to be... Oof. That's their sixth foul. We'll finally be shooting free throws for the rest of the way. Uh, moving screen. Yeah, I'm glad Jeff got his priorities straight. Got back yeah. here with us <laughs> basketball people. Now, <laughs> now Springs got beat, so uh, he's, he's done with that. Here goes Gracie to the basket and draws a foul on her way to the hoop. And we've got a really strong internet here, too, and we'll yeah. pause. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is not stolen. <laughs> not talking about that. <laughs> See Randolph going at it with WLA right now over at Randolph in their regional semifinal. You can find that also on Radio Plus. First free throw good for Gracie, but Randolph leading that game 18-13 to in the first half. No matter who wins that game, uh, Radio Plus will be following That's that right. team the rest of the way, whether it's WLA or Randolph. Gracie Great. makes her first free throw. Gracie looks good at the line right wow. now. Confident. He worked on something. Even the oh, oh, I thought it was going to go in because she shot it way too hard. It just stuck on the top of the rim for a second, but didn't go in. Statura going in and kicks it out left side. Back out on top with it is Lindy Beck. And now in the hands of uh, Grayson Barbie. And Statura loses it. Wow, yeah, what hustle, what hustle. I tell you, Gracie gets right down there and goes at it. And uh, not real happy with St Statura with her going at it like that. But uh, good job by Gracie. She got right down and dirty and got on the floor, which you should do. It's like a football drill when you throw the football out there and the guy, two guys go at it. That's, uh, that's just amazing hustle, energy. Yeah. Giving up your body. You hear a little skin squeaking on the floor. Good stuff. 
So Statura on the left side, Dan gets it back out on top. Goes Brooks, takes it to the lane, a little too strong off the glass, and Gopalin has it, pushing it up now along the left side for the Lady Warriors. Looks underneath, finds Ryan Babish, and she misses the point blank. Shot underneath the basket. Gracie couldn't do any more, couldn't make it for her, and boy, she just got an unbelievable vision of the court, just finds people just for the split second they might be open. I know Ryan missed that one. She'd like to have it back, but I'll tell you what, I just watched her sprint ahead of the crowd. Just to get to that point. She's an athlete. There's about three girls even at half court. By the time she got to the freezer line, she was three, four feet ahead. 24-11. Uh, Rowan Hunter gets a hand on it, but still in the hands of the uh, Foxes. Trouble, down trouble, the trouble. Brooks has it and taken away by Trinity Pierce. He gets it to Rowan Harder, pushes it up to Lydia Alsma along the right side. Peterson has it. One dribble, gives that up. Lydia has it, takes it in the lane. And then uh, kind of hesitated with a dribble, and uh, according to the officials, she got her hand underneath it, gets called for a uh, turnover on that and the carry. So it'll be Fox's basketball. Kind of stuck at 24-11 over the last few minutes. Yeah, Lydia, she had a chance there finding Trinity Pierce wide open. Nice Rowan Harder with another steal, Man. gets it off over to Lydia Alsma. Man, what defense Wapon is putting on right now. Alsma's shot no good. Ball tipped up and uh, saved by Babish because Wapon will get it back. Nice hustle there by Wapon. Harder kept it in and got it over to Babish. And uh, finally goes off from one of the Foxes. Wapon basketball. You know, it makes this team so good. Not only are they very, very talented, they, they're playing so hard right now defending. Harder gets it inside. He's going to get called for a travel. And it will be Fox's basketball. Now to five and a half left here in the first half. And we've got a timeout taken by the Foxes. We'll do the same back in just 30 seconds with more girls basketball action on RP Sports. How do you make the most of your land? Shaw does it behind the wheel of a John Deere 1025R compact tractor as he does everything to make. My yard looks as beautiful as I possibly can. But the Hubbards use their 1025R because we really are trying to create this homestead. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Nothing runs like a deer. Visit Ballwig Implement, Highway 68 West Wapan, and Ballwig Turf and Leisure North Spring Street Beaver Dam and online at ballwig.biz. Okay, we are back, we are back. here at here Wapan are. High School. Steve Winterhack along with Randy Armka, Jeff Sauer also on the video streaming, keeping track of things with a couple of games going on. Randolph trailing WLA 24-23 in their regional championship game. That's being played over at Randolph. We have that on RP Sports. We also have the Laconia game. 21-8 Laconia right now. And who are they playing here tonight? Forgot who their opponent was. Laconia is playing Sheboygan Luther. That's correct. Tonight. Uh, nice little pass you know, over in the left side of the basket, finding Maddie Brooks, one of their few looks that they weren't challenged inside. Brooks wide open, finishes. 24 13, the lead now for the Lapon Lady Warriors. Just under six minutes in the first half at Laconia. Laconia up 21 8. And the Peterson double teamed immediately, turns around, tough shot from about eight feet away with two people on her, but she still finishes the shot. Peterson now with seven points. Double teamed wherever she goes, and the closer to the basket, she might have three people on her. Up on there, they're gonna stick with that one, two, two zone. Brooks gets cut off, now double teamed. Gets it back out on top, over to Statura. In the hands of uh, Lindy Beck. Pass along the left side, and they get it back in the hands of uh, Julia Cook. She puts it up, she puts it in, and gets fouled. So we'll go against Trinity Pierce, her second. Julia Cook now with uh, six points in the ball game, averages 15 a game. She's their leading scorer, and a chance to add one more to it at the free throw line. Trinity's going to take a seat with two fouls. She's the only Warrior that has any type of foul trouble. And yeah, only four team fouls are sitting pretty good with that. Free throw is good. And now a 10-point lead for the Lady Warriors. Ball passed down over to uh, Lydia Alsma, back out to Peterson. 
Gopalan has the top of the key back. Kale puts up a three, and it is no good. And a ball knocked loose, and Gracie comes up wow. with a beautiful a pass. pass. And a couple good of nice one. passes inside. And Rowan Hunter's going to have to go to the free throw line, but Gopalan has a great pass to Vandestreek, who had a great pass over to Rowan Harder on the right side of the basket. She's fouled, and to the line to shoot two will be Rowan Harder. Well, first free throw is good. That's another bonus. Uh, seeing Rowan, she made a couple of free throws. Yeah, both her and Gracie, you can tell they've worked on their free throws. This form looks better. The rhythm looks good. It's a little too strong on that. Coming up with a rebound is Ali Sell, a 5'7 uh, junior in the game now for the Foxes. Statura has it. Passes left side over to Beck. And back out on top. Long three being put up by Cook, and that is good. She's starting to feel it right now, making her presence known, and has her team now only down by eight. 27 to 19. Goes Lydia Alsman in the lane. Back out on top over to Maddie Vandestreek. Lydia has it between the legs being covered again by uh, Julia Cook. This Fox's team are athletic young ladies. Oh, they're, they're really scrappy. And they're in your face. Oh, they're playing. They're playing defensively. Everything is tough for Wapon. Nice pass. Peterson gets it over to Gracie. And that goes in. Nice little pass. No look pass to Gracie. Hangs on the back of the rim for a while, and she puts it in for another two for Gopalan. Yeah, that's the give and go right there. You feed Peterson in the post. Everybody looks at her to double down, and then Gracie made the movement. Oh, a nice, nice. look inside uh, from Satura into Cook. Finding, uh, finding her open, and a uh, good movement of the ball there by the Foxes. Cook racking up the points now. She's got about 12 points. Of the uh, 21 points, and back within eight points are the Foxes. Gracie's got it around the back by the free throw line. Back out on top over to uh, Lydia Alsma. Carter has it back out on top over again over to Lydia. And looking to try and get Kale in the post. Yeah. And nice. they get it back down to the corner. Here goes Lydia with a three-point attempt from uh. the right corner, and she buries it. Just like she did yesterday, those threes that she had right at crucial times. To help Wapon keep that nice lead against Winnick County. That is a great skill by Peterson in the post, looking opposite. Oh, Ooh, good little hesitation wow. getting Peterson up in the air. Some great ball handling and patience there by Julia Cook. Taking over the scoring right now for the Foxes. 32 23 in favor of the Lady Warriors. Peterson has it by the right elbow. Back over to Lydia. She'll throw on up a three. A little too short. Nobody really in to try to rebound except for Maddie uh, Vandestreek. And the Foxes come up with it. Cook has it. Down in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. It's going to be well short. And uh, again, scrapping for the ball. An opportunity there for a few Warriors to go at it. But uh, somebody who wanted it more was Allie Sell. And she uh, grabbed it. Gets fouled. And she'll go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. She's a 35% free throw shooter. Fox is perfect on the night from the free throw line. Back to the rim, no good. Down to 124 left here in the first half of action at Wapan High School. Yeah, pretty quick first half it was. And only a couple timeouts, 30 second timeouts taken. The free throw on the way, that's also no good. And Abby, I should say Lydia. Lydia. Should we get the rebound and a timeout taken? A 30-second timeout back at 30 seconds. And welcome back to Wapan High School. A little uh, technical problems, which uh, can happen with the technology today, but your halftime score he is uh, Wapan leading 32-23 to in this ballgame, regional championship in Division Three. So, again, sorry for our uh, problems that we had out there. Bill Woyan out there uh, watching right now, T. Martin. T is out there uh, watching from Madison tonight. Shelly Stelzel says, go ladies. Glad to be watching. And Marla Stillwell watching. These girls play together since third grade, of course, with uh, her daughter being Trinity. Have to uh, watch from home. Continue making us proud girls. So thanks for uh, checking in. Uh, to make sure to do that. But uh, again, uh, we'll pond up by as many as 13. But I tell you, really nice. Really nice, especially defensively, uh, a team Amro. They're just uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pine playing physical ball. 
I think it's Tatura, you know, putting a body up right on Kale Peterson. If she gets it, she's going to have two or three players on her at that time. So uh, a good scheme that they have against a, a very good Lady Warriors basketball team. Yeah, we said that the last two nights, Winnet County last night, Amro Fox is tonight. Both of these teams are nice teams. They're athletic players. They're not real tall, but they really get after it. They're well coached. Both of those schools have uh, great coaches that really understand the game and have a good scheme. And, you know, it's making it difficult for Wapon. And then when you're a defending state champion like Wapon is, everybody wants to be the one to knock you off. And they're just bringing the energy and the and the extra hustle to the game because uh, what what better <laughs> feather in your hat than to knock off the defending state champions on the way to, you know, maybe a sectional. So uh, you, you have to be prepared every night when you're WAP on. Yeah, it's uh, quite a battle out here. Uh, everybody's going to bring their best, like Randy said. Uh, let's just take a look here uh, at the scoring in the first half. Again, sorry we lost kind of the last bit of that first half, but uh, Randy's going to run down the scoring right now. Yeah, uh, Tatura with two, Ariana King with three for Amro, and Julia Cook with 14 leads all scorers in the game, I believe. Yes, yeah, she does, and uh, Maddie Brooks with four, and that's it for them. And for Wapon, Lydia Alsma has nine. That's all on three-pointers. Maddie Vanestreek with four points. Trinity Pierce with two. Rowan Harder has three. She is one of two from the free throw line. Gracie Gopalan with seven, two field goals, Three of four from the free throw line, and Kale Peterson has seven points. Got a couple baskets and a three pointer made. Wapon is four, five, six, only shot six free throws. There hasn't been many free throws in this game. It's been a pretty clean game so far. Uh, another a surprising score here today that we uh, picked up, and yeah. that was uh, Beaver Dam. Golden Beavers losing in Beaver Dam against Grafton, a team that handled Wapon pretty handily when they uh, played right. them. And uh, Grafton knocking off Beaver Dam who was the number one seed, but they got beat by the number four seed, Grafton, 49-43, so Beaver Dam is Dunzo. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I heard that one earlier today, and I was a, a little surprised, but it, I know Grafton, they're a heck of a team. And, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, tournament time, you better be ready every night because especially seniors, they do not not want their season to end, and, uh, Nobody wants their season to end, but, yeah, you're going to come out. You're going to see incredible energy out of young athletes. Uh, a couple other halftime scores that we have for you. We have the Laconia game that we do have on Radio Plus, and that is Laconia leading at halftime over Sheboygan Lutheran, 34-12. to I see that Randolph and WLA are back after uh, their halftime, and it is Randolph leading 29-28, so a great battle between a couple Teams that are ranked like 9 and 10 in the state going at it over at Randolph High School tonight. And what do we have with our uh, Lake Mills uh, contest? It was, you know, they're leading in their ball game against Lakeside Lutheran. Bobby's keeping an eye on that. He is. Uh, i got to get back in it. Sorry. Um, yeah. Lake Mills. 21, Lakeside Lutheran 14. At, that's also at the break. And we, we bring that score up because the winner of this ball game will be playing the winner of that game. Lake Mills is ranked number two in the state for Division Three girls basketball. Well, Pond played them at the Watertown Tournament. Randy and I went and watched that game. We didn't call it, but we watched it. And they went into overtime in that ball game, and Wapan lost to Lake Mills. Looked like they had won the state tournament, beating the defending state champs, yeah. who were ranked number two in the state, I believe, at that time, maybe even number one. But Lake Mills leading in their uh, ball game by a little bit over Lakeside Lutheran. So uh, the winners of that game and this game tonight will be playing coming up next week. And they uh, they have it on the list here that uh, the game is played right here, the regional, according to the WIA website, yep. that the game will be played right here at Wapan High School. We'll see if they hold that because sometimes they've that's been right. changing the things in the, re the sectionals Sex if a uh, team's going to that's hosting it is in that game. Yeah, if they can find an alternate site, they might do so. You, you know, your opponent will probably ask for that. Got to find a neutral site that's willing to do it. And, and if you you win that, I mean, the, the listed place is Racine St. Catharines for the sectional championship. Yeah. Okay, well, Pond will get it back first here, leading 32-23 to 23 in your new medical integrated healthcare scoreboard. More in-your-face man-to-man defense by the Foxes. Gracie gets it back over to Peterson out on top. Takes it in the lane. They'll spin move and gets fouled on her way to the basket. A little help from uh, Maddie Brooks of the Foxes, but comes in and uh, ends up getting a foul. Kale Peterson going to the free throw line for the first time in the game. 
Well, they close in a hurry, too, with that yeah. help, uh, help side uh, defense. They come in in a hurry, and it's the first time that Kale's got to the free throw line in the ball game, so we're doing a good job with it. Only a second foul on uh, Maddie Brooks. Both free throws good for Kale, and that puts Wapan up by double figures again, 34-23. to 23. Yeah, Nobody in this game for either team with any real foul trouble. Nobody with more than two. Here we go. Fox is getting their first possession here of the second half. Lindy Beck is going to get fouled by Rowan. Rowan just seems to be kind of a foul magnet. Oh, <laughs> Derek looks back at the coach like, it's always subtle, but. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, those are close. I mean, she's a little late getting there and a little bit too much body, and she gets frustrated because, you know, I, I would imagine in practice she's a real banger and she gets after people. and. Coaches love that, but then sometimes when it transfers to a game, you get foul trouble. Good job by Peterson helping out. And now Cook goes up and floats in over the top of Peterson and puts it in. Julia Cook, Julia Cook having herself a great first half and throws one in over the top of the outstretched hands of Kale Peterson and gets the basket back to a nine-point lead for Wapan. And Julia Cook, she's a real deal. She's a good player. Real nice player. Has a, quite a repertoire of shot selection. Athleticism. And, uh, Peterson double teamed right away, takes one dribbled off to her right, puts it up and flicks it in. Not for the faint of heart inside, but she goes up with some contact and finishes. And will pawn back up again by 11. Not afraid to just trade baskets and just keep a 9 or an 11 point lead here. Yeah, we'll pawn going to man to man right now. Good help, Satura trying to get around the corner. She'll launch up a three off the glass, no good. And uh, Gracie says, I'm going to get that ball. She wanted it, and she got it. Gracie's got it, and there's a little crease going up on the right side, Ooh, and it uh, comes up a contact. little short, and uh, the, yeah, nothing called on that one. And here comes the Foxes the other way. Statura has it, gets it back out on top, in the hands of Lindy Beck. Dribbles off to her right. And Satura again with the ball being guarded by Gopalan. He likes the battle inside between... Rowan Harder and uh, number 24. And they, they're picking it up as Maddie Brooks. She, laid, she kind of laid a shoulder into Kale when yep. she came in, and that was uh, easily picked up by the uh, official looking right at it. Well, Pond will get it back, but yeah, they're setting some hard picks out there, and uh, it's a good, intense uh, game, a good one for Wapan to have if they can escape this game here tonight. That they had to go in a nice physical battle, and Gracie goes, I'm going to try again. I'm going to draw the foul this time. So they can't not call the foul. And, uh, that one on the floor on her way to the basket. That's her second personal. Beck will pick up her second foul, the team's third. And they get it out to Liddy also on the inbounds pass. Has it by the top of the key. Right by the free throw line, and it's going to be a foul on Julia Cook. The free throw line for the first time tonight is Liddy Alsma. Lydia sitting with nine points. Chance to get into double figures right here. First one good for Lydia. And we've got the Wapan Lady Warriors the rest of the way. Hopefully it's a long ride right to the rush center again, but not an easy road to get there. Makes both free throws. And you're looking at a team like Amro, third place in the flyway, but they're giving Wapan uh, as much as they can handle. Wapan does open up a 13-point lead, their biggest lead of the night. But, man, it's not easy. you got to work hard. Little back cut by Cook goes up, and a nice little move. She kind of faded away from Peterson to protect the ball. It softly puts it off the glass and in for Cook. Yeah. Peterson to the basket, five-footer in the lane. No one to stop her there for the Foxes that time. Kale making her presence known now with six points already here in the second half. Maddie DeVries, uh, or Maddie Evanistry going a uh, hard battle with Cook out there. Yeah. She had back cut the last time because she was pressuring so much, just face guarding. And then, I'll tell you what, Cook can play. She scores against Peterson in the in the post. Ball thrown away at, uh, by Maddie Brooks, trying to get into Chichura over by that left block, but throws it straight out of bounds. Wapan gets it back, leading 40 to 27. Just three minutes into the second half. Here goes Vandestreek in the lane, and she's going to get fouled hard on her way to the basket. Yeah, Maddie's all right. She gets up with a big smile on her face. She's used to getting knocked to the floor, very physical player, and seen her over the last couple of years up here in high school, even on the JV team. She plays hard. 
that you're going to get a little dinged up. And his free throw is no good. He is a 53% free throw shooter. And he's sitting on four points right now. Had that opening tip that went right to her and had right. to take it to the, to the glass for that layup. Start the game. Maddie Brooks sitting down with four fouls. Next free throw is good for the other Maddie, Maddie Vandestreek. So Lady Warriors up now by 14, 41 to 27, under 15 to play. Yeah, we'll see what they do. Like I said, preset place to play the uh, sectional semifinal if Wapan wins this game is in Wapan. But we've seen them switch it before when they get to the sectional level, not letting a team that's in that game host the game. Going to make it a neutral site. Driving the right side. Good job by Peterson moving her feet. Here goes Cook again. And uh, double teamed in some trouble right now. And then we have got a tie-up. And possession are pointing toward the Foxes. Good, good help side defense there for the Lady Warriors. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just a nice job of moving your feet, getting there, and then Van Streak wrestling the ball away. There's Cook. another trap. Yeah, Cook again trying to get in and uh, got put in jail again, had to get it back out. Satura has it out on top. Little crossover dribble. And oh, uh, Gracie Gopal and takes it away, and Satura knocks her to the ground. And Wilpon will get the ball back. Yeah, you don't want to show the ball down there. Just That's amazing right. quick hands. We have a timeout on the floor, and we'll be back in one minute with more Lady Warrior basketball on RP Sports. Municipal Well and Pump is a leading Midwestern contractor for municipal and industrial water systems. They are currently looking for ambitious and mechanically minded people to fill their opening for an apprentice well driller. Municipal Well and Pump offers great pay and benefits. To apply, go to municipalwellandpump.com and click on Careers. Or call Scott at 920-324-3400. Municipal Well and Pump of Wapan is a proud supporter of local high school sports. Shop these and more great deals at the Piggly Wiggly Wapon this week. Four pound bag of crystal sugar, $1.99 with your card. A pound of premium strawberries, $1.99. Limit of two. The family pack of all natural chicken wings, $1.99 per pound. Get cod fillets, haddock fillets, and cooked shrimp. Great Lent specials now at Wapon's Piggly Wiggly. Shop the pig all this week for incredible deals. It's Wapon's Piggly Wiggly. Okay, a timeout taken. Wapan leading 41 to 27. Uh, and uh, Heidi Potrat says, Let's go, Lady Warriors. You're watching from the, it says barrage with a B <laughs> instead of a G, so I don't know what, uh, they must be having some refreshments yeah, there with uh, Heidi and the gang. Uh, I'm guessing her garage that they're uh, watching it from. But hello, Heidi and the, the gang over there. Three pointer left side, no good, rims out. And then uh, Maddie Vandestreek's going to get called uh, reaching in on uh, Maid Johnston. Maddie picking up the foul. Just the second team foul for Wapan, just the second personal foul for Maddie. Lake Mills leading right now, 31 to 19 in their game. And Foxes with the uh, basketball. Randolph leading by four, 43 to 39 in their ball game against WLA. And Statura is going to get called for the double dribble. Bond's going to get it back now with a 14-point lead, 13 and a half to play. Just again, just good defense, just making everything difficult. Laconia also up 41-21 right now. Yeah, Laconia, the opponent for uh, if they win that ball game for the winner of the WLA against Randolph, Randolph. game for that sectional semifinal. So I tell you, a lot of our area teams, uh, a couple of them are going to get eliminated. Just because that's it's only so many teams that can go that they got to play each other and eliminate each other along the way. Yeah, Winnebago Lutheran beat Laconia this year, I believe. Yeah, they split with them. Well, Peterson goes for the steal, almost gets it. Driving the lane, nice pass on the right side, and then it goes off from one of the from Peterson's leg, and here goes Cook battling and flicks it up towards the rim. And we're going to say uh, the foul is on the ground, and it'll be a foul on Wapan. Yeah, thanks for joining us. I love this time of year. I love the playoffs. Nothing better. 
through the many years that I've covered sports since back in about 1992. Nothing beats getting to the playoffs. The drama that goes with it. Any team, uh, any given night could be done like Beaver Dam is today. The number one seed. Uh, Cook gets it inside. Three-pointer from the left side is up too strong. And Peterson goes up above everybody and rips it down. Looks up nice the court. Gets job. it to Lydia Alsma. And puts it up. Misses the shot. Gets a change but gets a rebound. Puts it back up and in for Lydia. That's just an amazing pass. and That's, that's a 55-footer right on the money. And that's the knowledge that Peterson has of her, her teammates out there. You yeah. got Lydia, who's a, a you know, state-level track athlete, a running athlete. And uh, she likes to run down, and she knocks the ball away. And Gracie Gopalin comes up with it. And Statura is going to pick up possibly another foul here. The third, three on uh, Ava Statura. I do like her shoes. Gonna nice looking shoes. It's the colorful yeah. shoe year here with uh, yeah. different yeah. colors yeah. out there, but... Colorful pair of shoes for uh, Ava. 43-27, Wapana by 16 with 12-16 left, trying to get to that sectional semifinal coming up next week, Thursday, of the games. Gracie's uh, free throw goes in. The same shoes that Trinity Pierce has on, I think. You're talking about those colorful shoes. They yeah, look like yeah, exactly. Trinity's Trinity got just checked in. Same shoe, I think. No, it's different. It's different oh, colors, it's, oh, uh, but it's very colorful. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. It's a Nike, yeah. Maybe the Maybe. same shoe, not the same color. We got uh, Gracie with the ball out on top, passes it over to Banda Streak on the right side. Well, head fake goes in the right side, off the glass and in. I like seeing that out of Maddie, because I know that's in her repertoire. I saw it during the JV years, and good to see her when she's got the opportunity lulling the other team to sleep, and she split a couple defenders and finishes. There's that 1-2-2 two, two again, <laughs> trapping pressure. Upon making the degree, oh, oh uh, Gracie almost getting it away from uh, Ari King. Three-pointer on the way, and uh, that's going to be a two maybe, or three. But a foul on the shot, they're going to say a three. And it's going to okay. be on Vanna Streak. her Ava's third. Satura only with uh, two, two points so far in the ball game, and that was early in the game with two free throws. Satura at the line. This free throw is nothing but net. That's the way she looked last time when she shot too. Just a simple, uh, quick release and just puts it in. Yeah, yeah camo Jackson. night uh, for the yeah, student section. They're more engaged tonight than they were last night. They just, they're more into the game. Very vocal. Ooh, all of them, I don't think any one of those hit the rim. Five of five in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Looks pure. Yeah, that was that was rock solid. 46-30 now the lead for Wapan. A little over 11 and a half minutes left here in the contest. It's a regional championship. I see the plaque is sitting right down there at the scorer's table below us. Nice uh, job by Peterson. Nice touch on that. Just kind of laid it soft on the rim, and it falls right in. Again, Wapan going to use that half-court trapping zone. And uh, Gracie's going to uh, Aaron Passer comes up with a leading the charge. Oh, oh nice pass man. over to Vanda Streak on the right side. Looked left, threw it right, and Vanda Streak gets rewarded. Makes herself another lay in. She's got nine points in the ball game, and she didn't have anything last night, but did so many other things defensively. Oh, a little lob pass inside. Good look, but that comes up short. Peterson knocks it away from the intended rebounder. But yeah. maybe Trinity standing out of bounds, possibly. Yeah, not back established. He tried to kind of jump in at the oh. last second. <laughs> Inbounds pass in the hands of May Johnston. And then uh, because the Statura just threw out of bounds. And Statura not happy with that. About a three-foot pass that went out of bounds. Yeah, make sure to check in. Go on the chat line and let us know if you're out there. Cheer on your team, whether you're here watching this with the Foxes or the Wapan Lady Warriors tonight. People all over the country watching right now. Gracie, you just like that ball's on a string like a yo-yo. <laughs> she could do it blindfolded. I'm yeah. sure she's dribbled the ball and practiced that so many times. Goes through her leg, behind her back, whatever. Peterson, another uh, strong move, oh. and uh, Trinity Pierce tries to keep it alive. But coming up with the ball is Ari King. Bringing it up now is Lindy Beck. It's over half court. Pass in lane, Cook turns around 10 footer, no good. Rebound in the hands of King, heading down to the corner and that's gonna go off the foot 
of Gracie Gopal, and it'll be uh, Foss's basketball. Down to 10.08 left, 50-30. Gopal with a 20-point lead. Yeah, if, you're, if you're one of the Omro players, you almost don't want the ball in your hands because uh, you're going to be trapped so hard. And uh, thanks to our 217 uh, computers Ooh, that are logged on here tonight bet. and how many people watching at each. If you're in the uh, barrage over at uh, uh, Heidi Potratz's place, <laughs> there could be quite a, be, uh, quite a few people in the, uh, the barrage. We might not let her live that one down. <laughs> <laughs> I got the big screen TV in there. I know I walk my dog past their house. Sometimes I can see the events in that barrage. <laughs> Challenge shot on Cook's attempt, and that goes straight off her hands and out of bounds. 45-21 right now. Laconia leads with 8-14 left in the game. WLA up by one point, 46-45. They got a barn burner going on over at Randolph bet. High School. Number 9 and 10 in the state in Division 4 going at. Defending state champs with Randolph in Division 5 last year. They got moved up. One or two too uh. many. Is yeah, Peterson loses control of the basketball. Something for the Amro uh, faithful <laughs> to cheer for. Yeah, Kale kind of has a big smile on her face because she <laughs> knew she got, she knew she gave the crowd a uh, something to cheer about. Yeah, she knows that goes with being such a good player. If you make you one go. any little slip up, they're going to be yeah. jumping all over it. And you wait for those overrated cheers. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh, a couple players down and uh, no yeah. call on anything. No, just play on. Just. Keep her look going. At, look at oh, Trinity, Trinity with an obvious. <laughs> she got away with the first shove, but then she <laughs> real obvious second shove. That's you got to use your lower body. Yeah, uh -huh. just gave her a shove with the right arm. That's yeah, a battle down there. You get a little frustrated oh, yeah. once in a while. He kind of shows and that kind of stuff, but going at it. Beck gets the inbounds pass. Top of the key extended. Passes right side over to uh, Barbian. And here goes Cook again trying to find uh, some crease into the basket working against... Maddie Vandestreek. Maddie works her butt off both ends of the court. Yeah, she had her hands full last night. Yeah, she and was again the, tonight. Joey Perry last night, she was given that assignment. A, it looked like it was something not right with that. Yeah, it looked like a travel. So Tura goes in, gets cut off along the right side. What the great help defense by the Warriors. Gap help. Yeah, they just pop in and then they get back to their uh, person they're defending again. Just... Making it difficult for the Foxes to think about maybe getting back in this ball game. That's that's double tip. That's yeah, that's over yeah. and back. That's a good call. That's a good call. Maddie, of course, Maddie had a streak on the ground again, but battling out there in Mopan gets it back with an over and back call on the Foxes. Yeah, no change of possession. A lot of people don't understand that rule right there. Wapan did tip it away, but it's gonna be last touch in the front court. Last touch by the Foxes, over and back. 51-51 in that Randolph game. Now you got to check Ooh, in that out. With wow. such a, every, the, other, the other games are kind of blowouts tonight. Or, but uh, that Randolph and WL game, uh, LA game, he knew it was going to be tough. Pass out to, uh, to find Lydia out there. I thought he going to get the maybe Trinity coming in in the lane, but now he's getting up to Lydia, but she misses the shot. Cook loses control. And has trapped it done again. The, ball's tipped by Vandestreek. Yeah, Foxes retain possession. <laughs> We get Trinity one more. Yeah, That's Trinity a again with that little shove with that right arm. Going to get called every time. Trinity's going to take a seat. Well, Rowan Harder ready to check. Along with Ariana King into the game and giving <laughs> Cook a little break here. She's been dogged everywhere on the court by Vanna Streak. Trinity with her hands off. She's trying to explain herself on that, but uh, pretty obvious the calls there for the officials. Sorry, Marla. Oh, yeah. Satura yeah. has it going in strong on the right side. Gets past Lydia and kind of got a cutter. Ava got a flat foot a little bit on that. Nice finish by Ava Statura. Her first field goal of the ball game. Down to seven and a half minutes left. 18 point lead for the Lady Warriors up 50 to 32. Ooh, good catch. Gracie again uh, being hounded wherever she goes, but still that doesn't bother her. She's used to that. And a streak has it back to Gracie in the corner, lobs it into Peterson, back out on top of the streak, and gets it to Lydia Alsma, and no good. Peterson uh, taps it back to herself, puts it back up, and puts it in. It is nice when you are six foot one in a shorter world out there and have all the skills 
Peterson gets it and finishes. Yeah, six one, probably about a six three or six four wingspan. Oh, yeah. yeah, she's got those long arms. Wow. That's uh, impressive. That's, and keep the ball high and have the strength to get it back to the to the hoop there with not much legs in you after tipping it to yourself twice. Close to six and a half minutes left in this regional championship matchup. Satura pulls up. That is no good. Peterson rips down the rebound, and Wapan will bring it up now with under six and a half to play. Yeah, there they go. They're going to spread the floor a little bit, run clock. No count yet. Lydia can just hold. As Lydia kicks it out left side to Rowan, back out on top, just, just working the clock right now. That is their friend. Oh, some nice defense, sticking with uh, Gracie as much as she can, and then uh, takes in the lane and oh, uh, tries to get the tried. Rowan, but that uh, gets picked off. She's done that so many times, kind of going across her body on those passes. The Chura gets it, kicks it out on top. Scramble defense, they get after it. <laughs> Three-pointer on the way now, and that is no good, and Boxes get the rebound in the hands of uh, Barbian. Yeah, great defense, and that's running a clock off right now just with the defense of the Lady Warriors. Well, tough, tough to get a good shot. Well, hesitation move by uh, Statura. It's tapped away, and uh, coming up with it is Beck. Oh, Gracie scramble again. again. Gracie not afraid to get down and dirty to go after the basketball. Must have caught a little bit of the sideline, but again, great hustle by Gracie Gopalan. Yeah, I think Gracie's foot might have been out of bounds when she dove on that. 53 apiece now in that WLA Randolph game. I think they were a little ahead of us, but I'm not sure where they're at now. We're with five minutes left. Lydia tries to steal, but he's up a little late on that one. Drive in the lane, and uh, it's going to be a... I'm going to oh. say a kicked ball. They call a kicked ball on the Lady Warriors. 52-32. Warriors taking care of business tonight. Sure he has it down in the corner. Hounded again by Gracie Gopalan. Yeah, you're right. Wapon using the clock even when they're on defense. Just not allowing a good shot. And Peterson grabs the rebounds. The Tura right there. The boy, it's fun watching the battles. The Tura and Gopal are very yeah. physical. Yep. But, uh, Gracie doesn't. Uh, she might look sweet and innocent out there, but no, she can uh, play hard nosed basketball with anybody. Good look inside into Rowan Harder from Peterson, and Rowan ready for it and finishes. And we've got a timeout taken uh, by the Foxes. A full one back in a minute with more. Upon Lady Warrior Basketball on RP Sports. Are you missing out on life? Does chronic joint pain prevent you from doing the things you love? I get it. All you think about is pain. This is Dr. Randy Blahoviak with New Medical Center. We have the solution to your problem. If you suffer from debilitating and chronic joint pain, learn how innovative medicine with human cellular tissue products can get you back to living your best life. Call New Medical Center for an alternative approach with innovative medicine at 920-249-8757. With MyCNHiStore.com, you can manage your equipment at any time, from anywhere, all from the convenience of your laptop or phone. Just search Genuine New Holland Parts by category, model, or part number, and keep your equipment running efficiently. Need a Genuine New Holland part and don't have time to wait? Visit MyCNHiStore.com and get it done faster. Wapon Equipment Company, Wapon in Watertown. Log on WaponEquipment.com and like them on Facebook. We are back at Wapan High School. Wapan leading 54 to 32 with 427 left. And uh, the Randolph game, uh, they are down now. Uh, Randolph is to WLA 57 to 55, possibly in that game. So they're battling it out over at Randolph High School. Uh, Cook with a three point attempt he is no good. Peterson grabs the rebound. We're down to 413 and counting down in the game. Wapan up by 22 54. To 32. Another. And looking into Rowan Harder again inside, gets it to go. Again, Peterson gets herself another assist. Rowan gets herself two more points. Everybody's happy. Peterson doing her goal pollen impersonation right now. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Take it to the paint and deliver. Ooh, maybe a little shuffle of the feet, let go. And that one, a three-point away from Statura, and she buries it. Eva Statura, the first three-point basket of the ball game. Ten points for her in the game. Lake Mills up by a dozen, Steve. 41-29 with about five minutes, on just under five oh, minutes. Oh, look at the <laughs> dribbling by Gracie between the legs. Oh, five-second call. So while she was doing that, he was getting counted down. Nice defense by Lindy Beck. Pulling all the tricks on that one, and Tim, just a reminder, get that separation to stop that count. Yeah, you got to get your shoulders in front when you go. Looks like Laconia is going to win their game. Three minutes, almost four minutes left. They're up by 20. Yeah. Randolph and WLA battling to play Laconia in the next ball game in the sectional semifinal. That is no good on the three-point shot. Getting the rebound is Barbie and gets blocked by Peterson. Ball uh, knocked away and out of the hands of Lindy Beck. It'll be Wapan Lady Warrior basketball. Kale Peterson blocked that with her forearm. <laughs> Crazy. Just kind of cupped it right into her wrist forearm area. WLA leading by four points in their ball game. Going to get down to about the last minute of that game. Alsma has it being guarded by Cook. It backs up and counting. <laughs> And a little runner in the lane, about seven feet out straight away, and a nice control move there by Lydia Alsma. What a talented team this is, the Warriors have. So athletic. Oh, they're so good. And, and, then, and no, they're, they're basketball athletic, too. And, I mean, they, and their role players are starting to play better and better. Ooh. Nice little post-up move by Maddie Brooks, finishing with a defender right on her. 21-point lead, and Wapan bringing out five new players. Now with a 21 point lead, 58 to 37. Standing ovation from the Warrior Faithful here. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa. They're kind of pulling away a little bit right now, up to 62 to 55, 63 to 55 after a free throw over at Randolph High School. And this could uh, maybe end things here for the Lady Rockets on the season. We will definitely uh, be calling the next ball game for WLA and uh, or Randolph, whoever wins that game, and they'll take on Laconia for that sectional semifinal. Exciting day. Beaverdam loses today. Uh, the number one seed just up the road from us here. They had an afternoon game. So in the game now for the Lady Warriors, Carly White with a little fancy ball handling. It's going to be bonus time. Yeah, Randolph in some trouble. That game was always within one or two points every time I checked it. Yeah, back and forth. Now WLA kind of pulling away in that ball game, so uh, they're in commercial break right now. We already know Laconia took care of business. Uh, Lake Mills had a good lead in their ball game. No final in that one, but we'll try to get that for you because that would be the opponent for whoever wins this game. Should be me Wapan, of course has pretty much have this one sewn up. And uh, good job on the front end of the bonus. Free throw good for uh, Carly White getting herself in the books. Yeah, Aubrey Farley in the game. Sophie Toutant in the game. There's uh, Breslin Brown in the game. Along with Ryan Babish. A lot of, that's, I don't know if that's, is that all fresh? That might be an entire five man freshman team right now. Couple seniors checking out Avis Tatura and Grayson Barbian with their last action as a Amro Fox. Ooh. Both free throws good for Carly White. See that Julia Cook, she's only a junior. She'll be back again next year. So a, a nice player that'll be coming back for the Foxes next year. You got a nice facility over there. Nice a yeah. bunch of gyms. They've got three major gyms inside that whole school complex in Amra. I was there for a third and fourth grade uh, basketball tournament. Well, somehow that rims out. Uh, ball is loose and uh, with it was Brooks kicks it back out. Drive to the basket by Cook is no good and then uh, put back is no good. Again, to some shots getting close to going in but just spilling off the rim. Well, the girls are playing defense here. 
And we got a, a foul on the floor. Let's check that Randolph game. Uh, they are behind only by three points. But it looks like a free throw being set to be taken by a WLA. Can hire the camera up there. I can see what the uh, time is in that ball game. And this is why we finally got a full roster today, Randy. We got the two that's players right, that we didn't right. have. Who do we got in uh, number 11 and 22? 11, that's Eden Schultz. I knew it was a Schultz. Eden Schultz in the game. And uh, who else checked in? Number 22, that is Macy Hop. On court interviews. We will definitely get out there for some uh, interviews with the players. We had the whole team with us uh, yesterday, yeah, uh, the whole yeah, group out absolutely. there. Absolutely. So uh, whatever they want to do and. They want to all get in the, the, the camera shot there. We'll talk to a few of the uh, key players. Get their regional plaque as well. Yeah, we're going to have it might be a little delay with that because they get that in Durham. Normally there's not picture time for mom and dad out there to get those pictures uh, with them and their plaque. Yeah, girls on the floor doing a nice job taking care of the rock right now. It'll keep away. Under a minute to play while Pond leading 60 to 37. In that Randolph game, uh, they are down by 5, 65 to 60. In some trouble right now in the... Closing seconds of that ball game at Randolph against WLA. I'm not familiar so much with the uh, WLA team, but I do know a lot of the Randolph players and their parents uh, over there. So Eden Schultz with the rebound. Yeah. Tearing it player. away from the, yeah. She's what do they got her listed as? Uh, let me have to six look. One. Six foot one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Only a freshman. Now there's 15 seconds left, and our Ryan Babish with us going to get tripped up on her way toward the basket. And Ryan will get a chance to get herself in the scorebooks with a couple of free throws. See if we can get a. Free throw good. Boy, they're making yeah, they are. all their opportunities that they uh, get, get in the game. i got to make some free throws because Ryan gets in a lot during the game. 65-60 Randolph trailing in their ball game. Can't see the clock, but it's got to be under a minute over at uh, Randolph High School. Well, Ryan Davish knocking both of those down. Uh, appreciative crowd here getting to their feet. Pretty, uh, no good, and Macy Hop gets herself uh, gets herself uh, a rebound. I see her uh, dad and her grandpa, grandma, her mom up there <laughs> get a kick out of that. That she got a uh, rebound just before the buzzer went off. So put that in the books for Macy Hop. But again, an impressive, impressive victory here from the Wapan Lady Warriors, winning this ball game 62 to 37. And we're going to take a commercial break, come back in a few minutes, and I'll be down on the court talking to the Wapan Lady Warriors. Could be a little bit, like I said, they're going to get their uh, regional trophy right now, or plaque, I should say. And then it'll be fixture time for mom and dad, and then we'll try to get some interviews after that. Again, Wapan winning 62-37, heading out of the sectionals to take on Lake Mills. Yeah, coming up next week, Thursday. We don't know where it's going to be at exactly yet. Back after this on RP Sports. Excellence in dentistry meets exceptional service. It's Dentistry of Wisconsin and Wapan and Beaverdam. From routine cleanings, checkups and maintenance, to more advanced dental care and cosmetic services, choose Dentistry of Wisconsin. Doctors Metzgers, Truck and Broad, Dittman, and Warner, along with their friendly staff, are here to care for you. Visit their state-of-the-art facilities in Wapan and Beaverdam, accepting new patients. Dentistry of Wisconsin. They'll give you a reason to smile both inside and out. The Wapan Athletics Booster Club invites you to their fifth annual Team Trivia Challenge event. Saturday, March 25th at the Rock and Wapan. $80 for a table of eight. The theme this year is Superhero. Doors open at 4.30 p.m. Trivia starts at 7. Prizes for the top teams and best dressed. Additional items available for purchase. Includes a buffet-style dinner starting at 5 p.m., refreshments, homemade desserts, basket raffle, and 50-50 raffle tickets. The fifth annual Team Trivia Challenge event, Saturday, March 25th at the Rock in Wapan. 
there has never been a better time to shop Werner Harmson Furniture and Total Flooring, Main Street in downtown Waupon. Werner Harmson is featuring a fashionable selection of furniture and flooring. That means remarkable savings on name brand furniture, top quality name brands at special competitive prices. You'll get the taste, quality, and personalized service that has separated the Werner Harmson name from the best. Find their showroom in downtown Waupon. Werner Harmson Furniture and Total Flooring. Taste, service, selection. It's worth the drive to beautiful downtown Waupon. The Hour Bar on Main Street Waupon is a great place to meet friends. Owners Bob and Tana invite you to join them for their daily specials and great atmosphere. They also bring in top-notch entertainment and host many special events. The Hour Bar is also the perfect place to cheer on the Packers, Bucks, Brewers, and Badgers. There's TVs everywhere you look. After today's game, head to the Hour Bar, 433 East Main Street, Waupon, a proud supporter of high school sports. HomeandAuto.com. Check out our selection of over 400 new and used vehicles. HomeandAuto.com. Every vehicle from all four of our locations in one convenient place. Find your perfect car without leaving home at HomeandAuto.com. New vehicles from Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, Buick, and Ford. Pre-owned from $39.82 and certified pre-owned. Plus the warranties and hometown service you can depend on. Make the home and family your first stop at HomeandAuto.com. We make you feel at home at Homeand. Saputo Cheese, just outside of Waupon, is hiring. A new year, a new career. Due to their continued growth, Saputo has full-time benefit-eligible career opportunities available in their Alto facility. Saputo offers entry-level pay starting at $21.94 per hour or operators starting at $25.09 per hour. Great benefits, shift pay, and more. A new year, a new career with Saputo Cheese and Alto. Apply online at saputo.com backslash careers. Saputo is an equal opportunity employer. Every piece of land has a story. Start building yours with a John Deere 2023R compact tractor. With standard four-wheel drive, folding rollover protective structures, and cruise control, it's your workhorse or adventure partner with over 100 implements, attachments, and accessories. Low rate financing to qualified customers now through May 1st, 2023. See Ballwig Implement, your full-line John Deere in Waupon and Beaver Dam, and online at ballwig.biz. That's ballwig.biz. Are you missing out on life? Does chronic joint pain prevent you from doing the things you love? I get it. All you think about is pain. This is Dr. Randy Blahoviak with New Medical Center. We have the solution to your problem. If you suffer from debilitating and chronic joint pain, learn how innovative medicine with human cellular tissue products can get you back to living your best life. Call New Medical Center for an alternative approach with innovative medicine at 920 249 8757. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa Rewards accounts include refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. When you meet the monthly qualification criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casasa Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marcusan. Kazan and Fox Lake. The last tractor you'll ever need is here. Get into a Massey Ferguson compact or utility tractor and accomplish more than ever before. These versatile tractors are known for their unbeatable power, smart fuel economy, and upgraded creature comforts. And with their ability to multitask through any job around the yard or farm, they'll provide you with outstanding value for years to come. Visit Wapan Equipment Company in Wapan, Watertown, and Eden to find the right model for your operation. Okay, we are down to the floor, uh, of course, regional, for the regional champs here, regional championship. Yeah, Steve Winterhack with you again, uh, Wapon 62-37, and uh, Kale's hugging Grandpa, so we'll, uh, we'll give, her, give her that right now. But, uh, yeah, what, a, what a battle here tonight, uh, against a very physical Foxes team, but earned themselves the right to, for revenge again with Lake Mills coming up uh, as their next opponent, coming up next week, Thursday, but... Uh, Gracie is talking about again your battle out there. Seems like you step it up a notch physically. Your boy, you're on the ground grabbing, the, uh, trying to get the basketball. It looks like they're going to easily get it, and uh, a lot more physical player, even another notch, bit more physical here in the playoffs. Is that uh, just the intensity? You just ratchet it up a little bit for the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, you lose. 
as you go home, so the aggression was definitely out there tonight. They brought it, and I just brought it right back. Look at you and Ava Statura were going to add a pretty good out there, a pretty good battle the whole game. from. Good battle. She did a good job. <laughs> hey, uh, thoughts about uh, having to play uh, Lake Mills coming up next week? Uh, redemption time. You know, double overtime. Game can go either way. Uh, we didn't have our best game the first time around, so we're going to go get them a second time. Great game, Grace. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Lydia again, uh, another great game. I, I, I see that. I think uh, we always have Kale always knows that you're taking off after uh, releasing early, and that she finds you with about a three-quarters court pass. Yeah. I, said, I just wanted to rebound on that one that I missed. Just a <laughs> good exercise. Oh, well, I was going to even bring that up. I was gonna <laughs> another great game for you. Some uh, key moments again. Uh, three threes in the first half. You end up with 15 points here tonight. A pretty physical battle tonight, wasn't it? It definitely was. I mean, like, I always, like, I kind of tend to shy away from contact. So tonight I was like, let's just go for it and, like, bring it on, like, defense first. And that, like, turn over into offense. So that was the goal. Early white. <laughs> come in, in this case, you might have to come in at a key time. Uh, you push to the free throw line. You made it right in front of a full house here tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds like first interview. <laughs> well, she's really good at it right now. But, uh, again, Kale, uh, they definitely uh, your, your they're going to put two, three, two. Uh, Again, just another right. night. You're kind of used to that kind of stuff. I am. You know, and that if that's going to happen, I'm going to spray to my teammates, and they're going to knock down shots. So that's what happened tonight. Now, again, uh, just talk about uh, possibly uh, Lake Mills coming up at the second semifinal. Uh, you did go to the ribbon against Winnicott Hill tonight. You're going to challenge against Lake Mills coming up. Um, we're on a clean slate. So we've won two straight, and they've won two straight, but we're ready to play. We're, our energy's high. We're ready to go. A great game again here today. What did you end up with here? 17 points, but again, everything was challenged inside. But uh, it was some of those assists that you guys had tonight were just unbelievable. And Maddie, uh, again, another uh, night, and they asked you to score here tonight. And uh, you did. I saw you take somebody off the dribble, too, and score tonight. So you added that to a hard defensive game, taking on their best offensive player. Great job. And also scored some points here tonight. Nine points for you. Great game. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, just talk about how, about how tough the cook out there. Yeah. Oh, both of the girls I had to guard, 2 and 20, they're very quick. Um, just got to keep my feet moving. And I don't know. It was, it was fun, actually. I enjoy guarding the fast players. And we also want to we want to hear for let's hear a cheer for getting in with a like one half second left for a rebound at the end of the ball game, Macy Hop for the <laughs> good job Macy. <laughs> Didn't even have her in the roster yesterday. Now she's got herself some stats and so. Hey, again, congratulations. We're going to be there for you coming up next Thursday. Good luck on that. Congratulations, regional champs, right here. The time, ladies. Let's, uh, let's it's not that. It's something with the Let's take a, uh, another break, and uh, we're going to come back in about two minutes. See if I can. Well, I got Tim right here. You, you going to take a picture? Or? <laughs> I'm going to. Okay, a three, uh, I'll take a three minute break. So we'll take three minutes and come back and talk to Coach Tim Olsen after they get a few photos taken back after this on Radio Plus. This game is powered by C. Broxma Electric of Waupon. C. Broxma Electric has serviced the electrical needs for Waupon and the surrounding area for over 18 years. From small residential jobs to agricultural, industrial, and commercial jobs, they do it all. For quality work and prompt, courteous service, contact your state of Wisconsin licensed electrical contractor in our area. C. Broxma Electric at 920-319-1614 or check them out online at cbelectric.net. If you're looking for someone to take care of your tree needs, call Eli at Torres Tree Service of Waupon. He's been in the business for 10 years and started up Torres Tree Service three years ago. Eli and his team can remove trees, big or small, even those hard to get to trees. They do tree trimming and stump grinding, and the job's not done until they put topsoil and seed where the tree was removed, clean up the debris, and haul it away. Join the many satisfied customers by calling Torres Tree Service in Waupon at 920-344-5887. 
A reminder for everyone that Ben's Automotive is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and on Saturdays by appointment only. Keeping your vehicle in tip-top running condition is essential. Call 324-9962 for Ben's Automotive. Get the quality repair and maintenance services you need from the automotive technicians you can trust. Ben's Automotive at the corner of Carrington and Main Streets in beautiful downtown Wapan. Call 920-324-9962 to schedule your service or repair needs today. Welcome to TerraMax Territory. Create the ideal seed bed with a high quality finish, level soils and remove ruts, and eliminate resistant weeds, all with one innovative tool from Great Plains. The TerraMax is a versatile hybrid tillage solution offering variable intensity tillage for a variety of field conditions. Learn more about hybrid tillage and the new TerraMax at www.greatplainsag.com or by visiting Wapan Equipment Company, your local Great Plains dealer. This is TerraMax Territory. Wapan Equipment Company. When the last time you reviewed your Medicare or your health insurance benefits. Do you have a plan? A lot of people choose plans that don't fit their health care needs or budget. Don't make that mistake. We here at SIA Insurance work with many different companies and carriers to get you the best coverage at the best value. For more information, contact SIA Insurance at 999 West Main Street in Waupon. Call SIA Insurance at 324-2071 for free help. Welcome back to Wapan High School. Steve Winterhack with you again. Wapan winning 62-37 regional champs. This has become kind of a regular thing for the Wapan Warriors, but uh, a good battle, a very physical team. And I've got Tim Alsman now, the head coach of uh, Wapan Lady Warriors, joining us now. And uh, just talk about the battle here tonight. Fox has decided to play some physical ball. Great defensive team, but uh, your team rose above and had a nice, impressive victory here tonight. Yeah, we, we uh, knew what to expect, um, sort of what we came up with uh, last year against this team. We knew it was going to be a physical battle. We knew they were going to be well coached, and we knew that we had a couple players that we needed to key in on. So um, we let um, Cook get going on us tonight in the first half, and second half we uh, stuck Maddie on her, and she, she did tonight what we've asked her to do for the last part of the season was just take the opponent's best player and uh, make it tough on them. So I thought in the second half we were able to contain her a little bit. We were able to get a little bit of a lead. And then we were able to play in space and thought we made some good decisions down the stretch and the rest is, is history, I guess. A lot of nice extra passes to get some easier baskets and that involved people like, uh, like Rowan again, like Trinity out there again. Uh, uh, Maddie, she got besides just getting it, the assignment to take on the toughest offensive player from the other team, but also looking for her offense tonight. She ends up with nine points tonight, so you never know where you're going to get it from with uh, some of the role players out there. Well, and, and that's what it comes down to when you're in the in the playoffs is you, you have to have your role players step into situations, and it doesn't always have to be scoring, right? So uh, tonight it was great to see Maddie get that first layup off the opening tip, and that, that confidence grew a little bit. But I think as Maddie has bought into her role on, on defense, that's got her mind where it needs to be on the offensive end. So forget about the struggles or whatever it's been for her um, throughout the year. Um, she, she has a clearly defined role, and that's allowed her to just kind of have a breakout offensive performance tonight like she did. And then we got Rowan and Trinity circling underneath when we're playing in space. And, you know, it's, it's, it's your pick, pick, pick your poison, right? You're going to have Kale, Lydia, or Gracie coming up into the mid range for a jump shot. So we can take that, or they step uphill, and we can have a nice little dump down. So it was a nice way to end um, our, our home season on our court. And I like how they know each other so well. I mean, Kale will get the rebound, and there's uh, Lydia, probably one of the fastest kids on the court, making a beeline for the basket, and she finds her from two-thirds court down there, and they did that a few times here today, too. As long as uh, Lydia knows we have the rebound secured first, uh, then she can she can go. She, <laughs> right. she tends to like to, to leak out a little bit <laughs> on those things. But, yeah, you know, when you have a w willing passers, you know, tonight I, I was really pleased, you know, we know we have that with Kale, but um, I thought Lydia made a couple of really nice passes in the first half, Boy, which is, good. that's where her game needs to expand and it needs to grow. And so as she's able to see the floor, it just makes us that much more dangerous. So yeah, you guys are looking great right now. And of course, you get a chance to uh, have another one of those revenge games, a team that beat you in double overtime over in Watertown with Lake Mills ranked second in the state. Now talk about that opponent and getting to meet them again. Yeah, we're, we're excited for it. I mean, I think tonight was a pretty good um, test for us because of the physicality of the game and Lake Mills is very much the same way. Um, we gave up 31 and 26 to their 6-1 center last time and so um, I think we'll probably have a little different game plan for that one and, and so that's one of those games where Kale had a shot at the end of regulation, Liddy had a shot at the end of the first overtime 
were, were both were really good looks for us and they, they didn't go and uh, we ended up kind of falling behind in that second overtime and lost by five. So we're looking forward to the, to the rematch. We're going to enjoy this moment tonight, um, but we got we got bigger bigger things to do. Well, Coach, great game. Enjoy the uh, regional championship and get yourself all set for the next three. You think they're going to let you host the game or do they not let the... Uh, yeah, yeah we won't be hosting. I know that for sure. I, we've talked to Lamira. We've talked maybe Beaver Dam. Um, something that will be... Uh, you know, hopefully an advantage for us. Well, you guys are looking great right now, really peaking at the right time. Congratulations. All right, thanks. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate that. Okay, Tim Alls for joining us. And again, I really do believe this team is playing its best basketball. Wouldn't you agree, Randy, right now? Uh. Now you're in. All right, absolutely agree with what Steve said there. They are playing very well. They played two good teams the last two days, rose up and, and got the job done. I think we're going to go right into the stats, Jeff, if yep. you want. And I don't know if you want to swing the camera or not. I will. But, yep. uh, I'll get you. Either way, we'll, uh, I'll start out here with Amro and the Foxes. Uh, Ava Statura finished with 10 points on the night. Ariana King had three points. Julia Cook led them with 18 points. She had 14 in the first half. Nice job there. Maddie Brooks finished with six, uh, three field goals. And the, uh, the only other person, Ellie Sell, got to the free throw line twice and was not able to score. And for Wapon in the victory, uh, Lydia Alsmo with 15 points. Maddie Vanestreek, as we said, nine points tonight. Kind of a breakout offensive night for her. And she didn't take a lot of shots. She was, you know, she had... Uh, Four made field goals, one, one of two from the free throw line, but she probably only took about five or maybe six shots, so four out of six, pretty good effort. Uh, Carly White ended up with two points, two, two for two from the free throw line. Trinity Pierce with two on a basket. Ryan Babish ended the night with two points, two of two from the free throw line. Rowan Harder with seven. Gracie Gopalan finished with eight points. She was four of six from the free throw line, and Wapon was led by Cale Peterson, and she ended up with 17 points for a total of 62. Wapon 12 of 16 from the free throw line tonight, so pretty good effort right there, too. They're, they're getting better at the line, Steve, I'll tell you that. They're getting better in so many things, and so many other people involved. Those role players are doing their job as role players out there, and you don't know who those might be, you know, who those might be as uh, the, the game goes on, but... I think they're peaking right now, and they're looking they really good, and I'm excited about that game against Lake Mills that Wapon got beaten. They looked really flat. I thought we looked, they did not come out with the great energy in that ball game right from the get-go. So I, uh, it's going to be fun to see what they can do against Lake Mills coming up here in that game next Thursday, a uh, site to be determined. Right, yeah, yeah you got the answer to that yeah. one. They're I'm not going to allow Wapon yeah. to host here, even right. though they, if it would have been two other teams, Wapon would have been the host school, but obviously, as he said, Lamira, great facility there. Uh, Beaverdam, another option, maybe great facility there too. So uh, it should be somewhere as close for fans to drive to and an uh, uh, opportunity to play in a great facility. Well, thanks for joining us here tonight. We'll pop with an impressive victory. Regional champs again, but their job is not done yet. They no. got the eyes of getting back over to that state tournament again at the Rush Center. They loved it last year. State champions, defending state champs, and uh, the way they're playing right now, they're playing as good as anybody. Uh, of course, Lake Mills. Uh, is definitely a team in their way that uh, can say that they beat Wapan during the season. So that should be a great matchup next Thursday. We'll let you know. Be listening to our radio station. We'll let you know where that game is going to be. But we know we will be wherever it's going to be. We'll have the, the dream team there with Jeff and uh, Randy and I will be there uh, bringing you the game here on Radio Plus. So again, Randy, thanks for joining me. Jeff, again, thanks to have you back after uh, the hockey season done for you. Yes. And again, Wapan winning 62 to 37. Regional champs moving on to the sectionals. We'll be back with their game coming up next week, Thursday, where no matter where it is, right here on RP Sports. Have a great night. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Wisconsin. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association.
Radio Plus Sports. <laughs> Free throw line, nice back cut, and a find to Kale Peterson. And Gracie Gopalan puts it up, puts it in, gets knocked to the floor into the free throw line. A little crossover dribble goes up with the right hand, gets it to go. A bond on a roll right now. Will go up with the left hand, puts it in. Another steal and a basket for the Fanhoff Rockets. Vanderwerk getting the ball to Spice, and she pounds one down and puts it off the arms of Delaney Rudinger and out of bounds. Walda's going to get it near the middle, and DeVries pushes it off to the right. Off to the races the other way. Throws it up to Emma, throws it down and in. Unbelievable alley-oop to Ben Emma. Throws it down for the two. What a feed into Ben Emma from Will Sines. Dual feeds Johannes again. That one off the window and in. Johannes to the line. Thanks to our sponsors in today's game. Laconia has the basketball with a chance. Madigan gets it in for Engel. Back to Madigan. Spots up. Got it! He scores! And people, there are your state champions, the Randolph Lady Rockets. Congratulate them on an unbelievable storybook season. Your Wapan Lady Warriors are champions of Division Three girls basketball. The complete broadcast schedule can be found at radioplusinfo.com. Thank <laughs> you.